was a beautiful day with only a second stage smog alert. I'm telling you for the last time, I want that deposition today. today. I live in Beverly you know Hills with my daddy, and it's my job to take care of him since mom died when I was just a baby. How come you legs have no taste? It's just the whites. Daddy, the heart disease gala ball is in two weeks. Now, should we get the gold patron package or the diamond jubilee ticket? Chad, this case is taking up all my time. We can't go to the ball this year. But it's for such a good cause. And they're making monster strides in hypertension research. Just send a contribution. Daddy, heart disease is the leading killer of Americans. And they always have a wicked band. Cher, there are lots of other diseases with parties. Maybe it's like a sign that I can't be daddy's little girl forever. It's time I found a man of my own and got serious. Oh, I am so in agreement. You've got to start scoping out guys. All high school boys. Well, unfortunately, the vast majority of boys in high school are high school boys. It's a real catch-22. Hey, 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 hey. Don't step on my truck. Yo, did you see how fast we was going? It was rolling. Man, I'm telling you, these wheels sloped out tight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, D, we was all the way over there. You saw us, right? The joy of it. The boys have a new toy. Toy? Shell, let me explain something to you. This is an exact replica of the Ford Explorer 1996 with dual airbags and a V8 engine. And 210 horsepower. Mm. It's a toy truck. <laughs> What's that under your arm? Hello. Dad, these are backpacks. Yeah, right. Backpacks. They look like stuffed animals to me. Word. They're shaped like stuffed animals to make a fashion statement. Shit, yeah, the only statement they're making is the primal scream against the loss of childhood, a deep-rooted fear of adult responsibilities, and an atavistic yearning for simpler times. Hit me one. You know this. He brings up a good point. I hate when he does that. Marianne? Available. Chair? <laughs> what is it? It's time for you to tell me whether or not you're with us today. Of course I am. Murray, in the house. Sean, in full effect. Amber. Whatever. People, may I reiterate, a simple here or present will suffice. Now, the next two weeks have been generously set aside for the study of three centuries of poetry. So, has anyone ever voluntarily read a poem that wasn't part of a school assignment? Can Murray drive us? Excellent. Ty? Mr. Hall, are you counting, like, greeting cards? <laughs> Actually, uh, let's confine ourselves to verses that aim a bit higher. Cher. Mr. Hall, you don't look so good. Cher, I'm aware that you have a very discerning eye when it comes to uh, outward appearances. Uh, but, no, uh, Mr. Hall, I don't mean you don't look good. I meant... You don't look like you feel good. Are you all right? Well, I am a bit headachey, but you know, it's nothing. Oh, you're getting all flushed. You should see the nurse. I'll call. Sure, I'm sure it can wait till after school. Well, it turned out Mr. Hall was getting the measles. But thanks to my Mr. early Hall. diagnosis, he had an excellent chance of recovery. And we got out of school early. of really expensive pants is that they automatically upgrade every shirt you have into part of a serious ensemble. So true. You know, if you don't have the body for it, you can really make Emporio Armani look like Armani Exchange. <sighs> oh, that was way supportive. I'm sorry. I'm very honest. I have to say what I think. Why? Hi, Daddy. I told Lucy to make the stew you like for dinner. Where have you been? Well, toy, it's like a school day. I guess I was at school. I suppose Barney's opened an outlet at your school? Well, I made a quick pit stop for a few necessities. Necessities? Come here, Cher. Let me see these necessities. Don't you have these exact same shoes? Excuse me, but these have a pearlized finish. The other ones are patent leather. What's wrong with patent leather? They were like screaming 1995. It was totally embarrassing. 
That's it. Shoes do not scream what year it is. The shopping addiction of yours has got to stop. But, Daddy... From now on, no more pit stops on Rodeo, no visits to the mall, no little hikes along Melrose. I'm putting you on a budget. A budget? A budget? And then he took away my plastic. Harsh. Heinous. I can't even go to the mall. Not even for, like, exercise? The iniquity of it. I just, I don't want to deprive you guys, you know? So if you had to get something, don't, don't let me hold you back. That's way valiant of uh, Hello? Then you took away my plastic. The scene isn't so. Oh, it's so, Sean. It's so, so. I'm on a budget. The oh, pain is unbearable. Very funny, guys. <laughs> I can't believe you date him. His mother should be paying me for babysitting. God, couldn't there be just one mature male in this school? Good morning, scholars. I'm Mr. Pontormo. I'm your substitute. Just a tease a little bit more toward the roots, which means, of course, you'll be planning to torture and ignore me. Now, I realize there's a lot of personal grooming going on here, but if it wouldn't be too distracting, I'd like to read you some of the most beautiful poetry ever written. Ode on a Grecian urn. But please stop me if you've already heard this. Oh, major now, John Studman, who Share, wrote this, died oh, he's not. He's mature in the Brad Pitt Christian Slater age range. Excuse me, if we round off to the common Baldwin denominator? Billy. Alec. Thou still unravished bride of quietness. <gasps> Mr. Von Dormo. Foster child of silence and That sleep. reminds me so much of a poem that I wrote. You know, Mondays are open mic night insomnia, and one of my first efforts was also about a bride. See, so I... isn't that something? Now, but I think for now we should just plow through with Keats. Beauty is truth. Truth, beauty. That is all you know on earth, and all you need to know. I just don't understand it. I've pulled every one of my foolproof girly tricks, and yet I was brutally rebuffed. Cher, but I got to admit, I don't get this whole thing. I mean, he's a teacher. He's got to be, like, over 30. I swear, by the time you're 21, he'll be, like, 36. By the time you're 30, he'll be 45. And by the time you're 50, he'll be 65. He'll be ready to retire, and you'll be just 50. I mean, a 50-year-old woman needs to go out, party, do stuff. I don't know. You're not ready to retire. Yeah, I know. It's. Oh, my God. Well, uh. Bobby. Mm -hmm. They treat us as if we're their personal servants, and not even very good servants, because we talk too much and can't make them sandwiches. Oh, they learn from their parents the best. You know, what even, you know what's even more disgusting? The raging hormones. I mean, it's as if they cannot take a 45 minute break from tongue drilling and groping. Oh. I mean, you know, there's plenty of women I'd love to tongue drill and grope right out in public, but there's a time and a place for everything, you know what I mean? Well, they're just that age. That age? They're completely infantile. I'm surprised they're even toilet trained. He hates me. Cher, he didn't say one thing about you. Well, I'm gonna turn over a whole new leaf. I'm gonna be studious and mature and write a killer poem. <laughs> this cute guy in the bookstore? Tell me a lot of books by the guys Pontormo's always blabbing about. But I couldn't really get into any of them. Then I remembered something. Ballerinas don't just put on their slippers and hop on stage. They warm up first. So what I needed to do was to warm up my reading muscles. Before I jumped into the poems of William Blake, I'd warm up by reading Vogue. Mmm. Pastels are back. <gasps> the perfect brow. Ah. Oh. I could feel my brain stretching already. The mini coat grows up. Oh, 
Citrus dropped waist mini coat. If only Mr. Pontormo could see me in that, he'd know how mature I was. But Daddy had taken away my plastic. If ever there was a time to prove I had brains, this was it. Beneath my dewy skin, I'm feeling such an ache. My hair is very bouncy, and yet my heart will break. My lashes are mascarad, but beneath them lies such pain. What use these lips so glossy, if they can't touch yours again? That was so good. Okay. What was the subtext of Dion's poem? Dion, underneath the words, what was your heart revealing? That even being seriously beautiful won't make you feel better if you're depressed. That is so true. So brutally. Okay, and this depression, is this due to some heartbreak that you've experienced? Excuse me? Are you trying to express how you felt when, say, a boy left you? Hello? Uh, imagine a boy leaving me as if. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Amber. I have seen the best minds of my generation surfing the net and and cruising the mall in in Arizona iced tea haze and in cafe latte hysteria who scream where's the remote so they can put my passion on mute counting down this week's top 20 regrets. Up this week to number one, the fact that you don't care. I have no idea you had such passion. Oh, that part I got from Allen Ginsberg, but the new stuff is mine. I felt an all-encompassing sense of doom, so I went to the mall. Do you believe Miss Thing? I thought her poem reeked. Oh, grievous. Yeah, but Pontormo liked it. Stabbed me repeatedly. He so didn't. <gasps> Sweet. Cigarette pants. D, don't torment me. Oh, I'm sorry. That was so unsupportive. If I could only write a better poem than Amber's and bust fresh in that new coat, looking way mature when I read it, <gasps> he'd so flip. Totally. My mission is clear. First, I've got to show my father how unreasonable he is. Daddy? No. I brought you some tea and cookies. Oh. Thought you were gonna ask for something. Me? No. <sighs> Daddy, did you ever take writing in school? Writing? Why, I was one of the editors of the Law Review. I remember my first published article. Oh, well, I hope I inherited your talent, because I have to write a really killer poem. As I recall, it went something like this. The party of the first part. Daddy, you know how you always make your clients wear something respectable and innocent looking? Well, appearances influence people's perception. I know. Well, that's why I have to find the right presentation garb. No, no, forget it. Daddy, if I don't look like the total poetess, I won't be judged fairly. Sweetheart, what kind of father would I be if I just gave you everything you asked for? You have to learn to work for the things you want. Well, that's a great idea. Oh, I knew you'd come up with something. What? Well, you tell me what work you want me to do, and when I finish it, I get the outfit through my Pullman. Well, since it's so important to you, ten chores for one outfit. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Wait till you see. I am going to do them so responsibly. I can't believe your dad is making you do the farming. Well, it's just this little herb garden he wants me to plant. There, that's it. Well, now we dig holes, I think. <sighs> Nobody knows. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ew! 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 Sherry, what's going uh, on? I've never seen you in this part of the yard before. I know. It's so far from the tennis courts and the pool. Don't mind me, I'm sure. Oh. Sorry, um, Richie, this is Dion. Dion, this is Richie. He's our landscaping engineer. Oh, nice to meet you. Wow, nice cuts. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were a professional athlete. Well, yeah, yeah, I try, I try to stay in shape. Really? And have a great trainer. Can you believe it? You know, we thought we'd plant this herb garden to surprise my dad. 
Oh, yeah, but there's all kinds of worms and bugs and stuff over here. Maybe we should do it someplace else. <laughs> well, there's worms all over the yard, you know. Ew. Well, it's just these pots here? Mm -hmm. That's nothing. I'll do it for you. Isn't he sweet? This is the Richie you were telling me about, right? Tough and embarrass me, why don't you? <laughs> and you realize that with the new budget cuts, many elderly people will be left without basic services. Sure, what are you doing? Medicare. I'm cataloging daddy's CDs. Oh, and then I had to take the dry cleaning in, but I called them up and they pick it up for a slight charge, so I told them to put it on the bill. And then I had to take the dogs for their shots, but I gave our housekeeper an extra $10, and she did it. So anyway, I'm almost finished doing all my chores. You mean getting other people to do your chores? Well, he never said I had to do them personally. Share your classic. Really? <laughs> yes. Thanks. I had worked really hard convincing people to do my chores. Now all I had to do was write my poem. So I went to Miss Geist for some help. I'll pull the stars out of the sky, pull the hair out of your eyes. If you spare me all your lies, then we'll meet at House of Pies. Well, I mean, that line's more like a placeholder for something else. I know it needs a little work, but I thought maybe you could steer me in the right direction. Well, what is it about? Well, I mean, I thought only stories had to be about something. I thought poems just had to sound pretty. Can I make a suggestion? Sure. I totally respect your opinion, Miss Geist. Well, except for in clothes. I don't think it matters that much if it rhymes well or sounds pretty. I think the main thing is that it expresses how you feel. For instance, have you ever been hopelessly in love with someone? No. Has anyone ever hurt you? No. Has it ever seemed that life was meaningless? <laughs> no. Has tragedy ever gone anywhere near you? Do you mean like sad stuff? So to speak. Oh, I hate sad stuff. I mean, it makes me all bummed out. And then like even later when you look back, you just get all, ugh. Oh. That's what makes poetry so difficult. So you mean I have to deal with my pain? Exactly. I dealt with my pain like Miss Geist suggested, and it was way hard for me. But I came out of it with a fully chronic poem. My mother asked of the procedure. The doctor said he'd not deceive her. For of 200,000 tries, there's only one who ever dies. But numbers cheat, they're full of lies. She only wanted thinner thighs. Who'd have guessed she'd meet destruction while undergoing liposuction. I really had to pat myself on my back for achieving my goals. Also, my wonderful daddy came through with a coat when he saw how I had accomplished my chores. What do you think? Oh, my God. Oh, you look great. Hey, Glenn, you can make it, share. Take off your coat and stay a while. Gone? Completely gone. Like a Chevy Chase film after one weekend. Oh, well, that's what happens when you love a substitute. I sank into a deep abyss for, like, days. A total angst fest. I didn't want to see anyone. I couldn't sleep. And I couldn't eat a thing. The good news is that once I decided to get out of bed, I had lost two pounds. Check it in here. Do you know what these are? Depositions. And what did I ask you to do? Read them and highlight all references to June 1983. That was one of your chores that we agreed upon, was it not? Yes. Then why do I find out today that my secretary put in for overtime because she spent two hours doing it? Oh, well, see, I was doing it, and then I had some questions. And she said that I was asking so many questions that she'd really prefer to do it herself. And I figured that she'd do an even better job than I would, which would help you even more. Right? All right. Then explain this. <clears throat> Richie asks how I like the herb garden he planted. I notice a delivery charge on my dry cleaning bill. Lucy has an allergy attack from taking the dogs to the vet. According to this evidence, you did not do one single chore. But they all got done. That's hardly the point. Well, actually, it kind of is the point. What? 
Well, you wanted me to do these chores to learn responsibility, because you want me to be able to function in the real world. What are you getting at? Well, when I get out into the real world, who do you want me to function like? Who? Oh. Well, you, Daddy. I mean, I don't want to learn how to underline things and dig holes. I want to learn how to prioritize, delegate authority. The chores were great. I'm learning to be just like you. You drive me crazy, do you know that? Oh. What am I going to do with you? Oh, thank you, Daddy. Anyway, I guess it's true what they say. Every cloud has a bunch of silver trimming. Because Daddy's case was settled out of court just in time for the Bronchial Inflammation Gala. <laughs>